My name is Bill Lee. I'm a clay artist and I work exclusively with slabs con construction, creating functional works of art and, and ceramics. I live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I currently have a brand new studio in an old school building called the Vestal School in South Knoxville. I plan on having classes as well as a full functional, functioning uh, pottery studio. My process, I do not throw on a potter's wheel. Uh, I am what's called a slab builder. Slab simply means flat pieces of clay. It's a different process of making pots than, than your typical potter. We are makers. We, uh, we come from a tradition of making things, handcrafts, you know, the original pot was made out of a ball of mud that was fired in a campfire for the food. Humankind have been making for years to solve a practical problem. So that's maybe one of the distinctions between art and craft is that the makers are creating something that at least historically had a function. I've always loved nature. Um, I grew up in the, the foothills of Virginia, the, the flowing river, the, 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 the flowing streams up in the mountains where, of course, when I got a chance to go down to Florida, those colors are gorgeous. I've always enjoyed color. Last year I started the process of learning to mix my own glazes, which are going to be the more traditional muted colors. The temperature range I fire at allows me to use the bright colors. I was trained as a sculptor, painter. I tended to focus on abstracts and uh, fantasy, which is different. I'm not the kind of guy who go out and paint a picture of your, your horse or your cat or your, your house or something like that. I, I'd be, I approached creativity like an architect oftentimes or I would study things like physics and understand the beauty of those graphs and apply that to my own design aesthetic. So for the first dozen years I focused on abstract sculpture. So the reason I make these funny shapes is I've learned how to make a single piece Play, bend in such a way that makes it wonderful. Generally in the process I'll make, I'll cut out a bunch of pieces, set up a, on my shelves, and by the end of the morning, well maybe in the afternoon, I can go back and start forming. I have an interest in technology too. I'm, I'm interested in the fact that the created world you, you can describe so much of the created world with mathematics. There is a very immediate tactile response to a material that is very pleasurable. Uh, you get your hands in the stuff, whether it's wood, clay, jewelry, whatever. You're, you're taking your idea and instead of any inter intermediary mechanism or whatever, you're forming it with your own hands. You're putting your imprint, your DNA is getting mixed in with that clay. 